scrappy friends, I have an art journal page for you today and this is going to be using uh, some of Larkin Designs uh, printables from her new collection that just came out for January out with the old and right now I am just doing some color blocks. I'm using a teal color um, and this is Jolly from Shimmers. I think that's the one that I'm using. Or either that or it's mint. So I can't remember which one. Is that horrible? I should have written it down. Um, so I want to say I used the, the, the Jolly one. And then this other color that I'm using is good old summertime. And these are, and this is a creamies. I also have the pink, the cheeky pink, but I don't end up really using it because it's really, really, really light. And I wanted something a little bit darker. So let me look here. So I'm pretty sure I put away. So either, I'm pretty sure I use the Jolly one, which now I need to find so I can tell you the exact name. <laughs> okay, it's called the, oh, it's not Jolly. It's the Holly and the Ivy. Uh, that was not really that close. See, this is why I look things up for you guys. <laughs> Um, but these are both, uh, the Holly and the Ivy is an Inklings, which is like a watercolor, um, but very, very, um, like shimmerized and they come hard. So you just spray them with water and then you let them sit for a minute or two and then they react to the water. Um, eventually after adding water to them, they will kind of stay watery and I just I just always add a little bit of spray of water. I have a little um, water sprayer or like a spray mist bottle that I just have water in and I just always I just spray it in there. So I've had a lot of luck. Good luck with that. Now my um, my cheeky pink. So I have an issue with it and that's why you see me patting it. So basically one of the times that I was using it, I mixed by accident the freshly mint that there is that. So there's a mint inklings and I mixed it in with the creamies. And so on top, it has this like really, it has like a cool color to it where originally it was more pink. So eventually I figure it'll get to that color, but I don't use it enough to, and my water's really crappy. So I'm really just making it worse. So after I do this, I outline it because there's actually a card in Larkin Designs uh, in Teresa's collection that has a quote on it. And let me tell you what the quote says before I get going here. It says, what would happen if we were all brave enough to believe in our own ability to be a little bit more ambitious? I think the world would change. And that's from Reese, Reese Witherspoon. And of course I can't talk. Uh, I believe she said that at one of the award ceremonies or something that, or she got an award for being, um, something like that. But anyway, so she said that quote and around that card, there is the, this design, like what I outlined. So now you see me playing around what, so here's two things that you didn't get to see me do because for whatever reason, I forgot to hit play record. I did a, um, a stencil with some modeling paste, some clear, um, a dear Lizzie stencil. And so those are two flowers. So I did the two top and the bottom, and then I used embossing powder on it and I let it sit and dry. And then I use my heat gun on it. And that is, a a heating embossing powder from, it was from the Secret Not So Secret Kit Club. 
from Christina. She gave me some. I used it all up. And I don't know. I like it, but I don't like it. So it's a little dark for what I wanted. I thought it was going to be a little bit greener, but the greener parts kind of were. So it has this like glassy, icy look to it that has a little bit of green in it and some grays as well as some clear. And so when you, you heat it, it turns this like almost looks like ice or something. It's a really cool effect, except for it wasn't green enough for me. So yeah, I don't know. It kind of was a little bit dark, but then I go and I add these circles with my fine line bottle. Another thing that you didn't see me add was that Believe. I really liked that I had that piece and of course it broke, but I just split it on two, piece, on two of the sides, which is fine. So it worked out fine that way. And then I added some um, of the the twine on the other side. Now I don't have anything on the other side of the pages, uh, on the other side of that page where I, cause I actually did the twine through the page. But so anyway, so I did that and you didn't get to see me do that. But so now I'm working on these circles and I just used my fine line bottle and as you see me drew some circles. Now at this point I don't actually mind it. So I'm going to preface this whole thing by saying I actually am not really sure how I feel about this page. <laughs> I really, really wanted it to work really amazing. So I don't know. Who knows? I may go back to it later on at some point and kind of tweak it. But I just was afraid that if I kept going with it, I was going to make it way worse. So I wanted to share this video with you because I had high hopes for this because I was like, oh, I want to use Teresa's products with the way that I scrap, right? Because this is this is all about what design teams are for, right? So that you guys get to see how you can use a product in a way to, a whole different ways. You know, I'm making those really great art journal pages this is something that I've been doing quite a bit. So I'm using the stencil. At this point, I'm hoping to tone down some of the circles. Now, I should have just did this step and just left it because I think it would have you really don't see the white circles too much. I'm using white acritones, and acritones is super, super light um, and very translucent. So you really don't get that opaqueness that I was kind of wanting. And I know I tried to add a little bit of the Dina Wakely paint that I have, but even that it was just not enough. I could have grabbed some gesso. I believe I have just a little bit of white gesso. I usually use clear gesso because I tend to like, uh, I tend to want a lot of color on my pages. So, but I really should have just left it because I'm like, oh, well maybe if I, you know, use the stencil and I outline some of these other circles, I can get this really cool effect. Now, it's not that it looks ho horrible, except for I just went crazy. And this is to show that even someone who loves mixed media and who does a lot of it can really just, just go a little crazy. Sometimes you just keep feeling like you need to keep going because you're not really sure what else you're doing. And I just added way too many dark circles. Um, but you know, it is what it is. And I think that in every art journal page, you kind of learn something about yourself and you learn something about this process. And I really loved, and I really wanted to love this page a lot. I really loved the colors to start off with. Um, and I love that I'm gonna tie some of, some more colors into the page because I wanted that background card or the background of this to look like that background card except for I didn't add as much blue because I didn't really want to add too much blue to it and you'll see what I do to kind of do this and I'm just going I'm just going crazy right now I pretty much traced around every single white one that I did and this as just the one side just is really crazy the good thing is is I decide to stick my um the card from Teresa's collection over top of some of these so this will help tie it down like tone it down you're not going to see all of these pieces <laughs> because 
they will be covered up. But I really wanted to show this with you because I wanted to show you that just because you don't care for how it turned out, it's still this process that you're working through. And sometimes it's just more about playing. And I do add a little bit more color to make it a little bit more saturated. I like how there's these darker red coral colors that I tried to make and um, these darker teal colors with the mint. And I really do like this part. I really love the color on it. I just wish there were so many of the black circles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I said, it is what it is. And I think that in the end, um, it's still going to show really well when I share the pictures. Everyone's going to be like, what do you mean you didn't care for it? You know, this is gorgeous, right? Um, but that's what, like I said, not every single piece is going to be this, you know, it's not going to be Vincent Van Gogh here and that's not what I'm trying to go for I'm just trying to have fun and I'm trying to highlight ways that you can use these pieces you really can take these digital cards and and like what would have looked really awesome maybe even putting it on Jess or putting it on vellum and then putting the vellum so what I'm doing is I'm adding some gesso and this is um, just the white gesso but it has a little bit of a lighter color to it. like it's a little bit darker of a clear um, and then I'm just using some of the Mod Podge that I have now I could have used I also have multi matte medium too which I do like to use and um, if you watch some art journalers will use that and some use Mod Podge it really doesn't matter they're pretty much the same thing um, I think Mod Podge has is a little bit more glueier um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some colors. I'm trying to get that blue color. So right now it's a little bit more purple. I don't like it. It's too purple. So I'm going to start all over again. I'm taking some blue or some navy and white. And I'm just going to keep adding a little bit of white. I'm almost out of this white again. I have went through that white. And that is shimmers and acritones. Now they don't, there is no more acritones in the store. Uh, if you happen to go over to the shimmer store and if you go over and you buy something, make sure you use my name, Hannah, so you guys can get a free gift because, um, Stacy, the owner and Sam, they're awesome. And they just really want to like give you guys a gift for, um, following us and, and letting us, letting them know that how you guys found their, their page. So I'm adding blue in the spots that it was already there and then I just took some of the teal some darker of the teal and I kind of put it all in this corner and so what I'm gonna do is take some of this pink but I end up using the the darker pink because that's the color that I used on the background and it ended up being more closer to the color that's on the card and I just really want to highlight these colors and I want to blend them together and make them look like the page now I could have continue to do this throughout the page and maybe um did a little bit more of this blending but I really didn't want to ruin it so this is what it turned out and as you can see it it looks fine right and really ultimately this is just about me reminding myself that I just need to believe in what I'm doing and I'm just super happy to be a part of this team and I'm super happy to be a part of um of YouTube and sharing my stuff with you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to head over to the Larkin Designs store and check out the digital products that Teresa has made for the month of January. She has some cut files and some other stuff as well as some classes. So I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a great scrappy week. Bye!